Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 animated couples who made us believe in love. Define dancing. Dancing, a series of movements involving two partners where speed and rhythm match harmoniously awesome. with music. For this list, we'll be looking at the most romantic pairs that defined what love is. In order to explain just what makes these couples so great, we're gonna mention spoilers. Sorry, not sorry. Who do you think deserves to be number one? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Tarzan and Jane Tarzan Although they grew up in completely different worlds, these two work well together as a couple. While Jane Porter teaches Tarzan about human society, he helps her get more in touch with nature. The original 1999 film depicts their adorable first meeting and the process of them falling in love. Eventually, Tarzan opts to remain with the gorillas instead of traveling to England with the Porters. Since Jane can't bear to leave him, she stays behind and embraces his lifestyle. But you love him. What makes the duo so great together is the fact that they're so willing to learn from each other. This fantastic trait of their relationship is still on full display in the sequel and their television series. Did this come from the diamond mine? <laughs> yes, I've been waiting for the right moment to give it to you. Uh, you understand my world better than I ever thought. Just as you understand mine. Number 9. Mulan and Shang. Mulan. Um, you... You fight good. Oh, thank you. These two prove that a couple that fights together stays together. They meet under interesting circumstances when Mulan enlists in the Imperial Chinese Army while posing as a man named Ping. As a soldier, she grabs Shang's attention by proving that she's a clever and dedicated soldier. The two quickly begin to develop chemistry as they continue to work together. Admittedly, it looks grim for the two when Mulan reveals her true identity. But Shang eventually accepts her motives and pursues a romantic relationship with her. You forgot your helmet. Uh, well, well, actually, it's uh, your helmet, isn't it? I mean... Would you like to stay for dinner? Would you like to stay forever? Although the couple hits a rough patch in the sequel, Shang proves his love by making an incredible sacrifice. In the end, they learn to embrace each other's differences and finally tie the knot. My lord, I love Mulan, and I don't care what the rules say. If she'll have me, I intend to marry her right here, right now. Number 8. Hiccup and Astrid, How to Train Your Dragon That's for scaring me. What? what? what is, was it always going to be this way? Because I could get used to it. Thanks to the plethora of content that this Viking couple stars in, the relationship between the creative engineer and the fierce warrior can be tracked over a long period of time. In the first film, Hiccup is a 15-year-old teenager who has a crush on Astrid. They develop a much tighter friendship as they work together with dragons to protect their home. What are you going to do about it? Eh, uh, probably something stupid. Good, but you've already done that. Then something crazy. That's more like it. Although they have different personalities, the two characters bring out the best in each other. The two are a great example of a couple who accepts and respects each other for who they are. That is a low blow. No, no, you are not getting away. Ah, okay, okay, you win, you win. You always win. <laughs> you knew what you were getting into. They're so perfect together that we weren't surprised in the slightest that they ended up getting married. Number 7. Tiana and Naveen, The Princess and the Frog Naveen and Tiana don't get off to a great start. After he's turned into a frog, she agrees to kiss him to restore him to human form with a kiss. Surely I could offer you some type of reward, uh, a wish I could grant, perhaps? Yes? Just... One kiss. Unfortunately, their attempt to reverse Dr. Facilier's spell backfires and leaves both characters as amphibians. The strange situation and their clashing personalities make it look like love is impossible. But over time, Naveen is inspired by Tiana's determination while she finds his charm endearing. 
My dream wouldn't be complete without you in it. I love you, Naveen. Even when it seems like they're to be stuck as frogs forever, they are happy enough to have each other. Getting married as amphibians was fortunately the key to breaking the spell. This couple definitely earned their happy ending. Dreams do Number 6. Bob and Helen Parr, The Incredibles Hey, look, wait, the lady got me first. Oh! Well, we could share, you know. I work alone. Well, I think you need to be more... flexible. These two are the definition of a power couple. On top of being superheroes, they're relationship goals. Like most married couples, Bob and Helen have their ups and downs but they're always capable of apologizing and forgiving one another. In the original film, Bob deceives Helen and puts their family in danger after he tries to relive his former glory days. Upon realizing the harm he's caused, Bob expresses remorse and Helen accepts. That's what this is? Some sort of workout? I can't lose you again! I can't. Not again. I'm not strong enough. He's later willing to accept a new role in the household so that his wife can live her best life. And when they're together, Bob and Helen are willing to do whatever it takes for their kids. Their healthy communication, care, and cool action sequences together are all lovely to see. Oh, I love you. Number 5. Anna and Kristoff Frozen. I could kiss you. <laughs> uh, I could. I mean, I'd like to. I may I? We me? I mean, may we? Wait, what? We may. This relationship stands in sharp contrast with Anna's relationship with Hans. While the princess and the prince get engaged in less than a day, she and Kristoff spend much more time together. Since both of them are a little awkward in social situations, they have trouble connecting at first. But Anna comes to value Kristoff's compassion. In turn, he learns to accept her free-spirited nature and drive. Happy birthday. Make it today a happy day. Oh, I love you, baby. You want to watch, you know that you do. I do. Despite the fact that Anna has a fiancé, they can't help but develop romantic feelings for one another. The two also break the Disney mold by not rushing to get married. By the time Anna says yes to the mountain man, we're confident they're ready to continue a strong relationship. You are the most extraordinary person I've ever known. I love you with all I am. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes! Oh. Number 4. Rapunzel and Eugene Fitzherbert – Tangled The relationship between these two is purely transactional at first. If Flynn gets the sheltered Rapunzel to a Sky Lantern festival, she'll return the stolen crown he got his hands on. You will act as my guide, take me to these lanterns, and return me home safely. Then, and only then, will I return your satchel to you. That is my deal. Along their journey, they risk their lives for each other on multiple occasions. Her enthusiasm for the outside world melts the heart of the jaded thief. By the time they share a truly romantic moment amongst the lanterns, we're fully rooting for them. All at once, everything is different now that I see you. The couple has so much chemistry that it's impossible not to be swept up in their love story. That's why we were thrilled when they finally got engaged in a follow-up tale. Will you marry me, Rapunzel? Yes. Yes, yes, yes! Honestly, we never expected a thief and a princess to work so well together. Number 3. Shrek and Fiona – Shrek I love you. Really? Really, really. <laughs> I love you too. These two have more in common than it seems at first. Although she's first introduced as a human, Fiona is cursed to become an ogress at night. 
She's only willing to embrace life in her green form after developing a sweet relationship with Shrek. While he's willing to become human in a sequel, she declines and remains in her true love's form. I want what any princess wants, to live happily ever after. <sighs> with the ogre I married. The two are willing to go to such extremes for each other because they don't feel bound to live up to society's expectations. When they're together, they can always be their true and sometimes gross selves. Like Onions, their relationship is made up of a ton of great layers. You know, I always thought that I rescued you from the Dragon's Keep. <laughs> you did? No. It was you that rescued me. Number 2. Ellie and Carl. Up. In just an eight-minute segment, the Pixar film depicts a love story that makes us cry every time. It begins with their first encounter as children. Adventure is up there! You know, you don't talk very much. I like you! Wow. The shy Carl and outgoing Ellie immediately connect over their shared taste for adventure. After their meet-cute, we get a montage of their relationship. While it contains no dialogue, it speaks volumes. It depicts their wedding, house renovation, and careers, plus all the quality time the couple spends together. It sadly ends with the tragic moment where Ellie dies. At first, we're heartbroken that they never made it to Paradise Falls before she passed away. But like Carl, we grow to appreciate and admire the beautiful lifetime they had together. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Megara and Hercules, Hercules. According to the demigod, being in love with Meg is better than being immortal. An immortal life would be empty. I. I wish to stay on Earth with her. I finally know where I belong. <laughs> Felonius Gru and Lucy Wilde, Despicable Me Too. The perky agent has what it takes to keep up with the reformed supervillain. This was fun. Yes, surprisingly, it was. Oh, and uh, just between you and me, you look much better bald. Blue and Jewel, Rio. These birds of a feather prove that opposites attract. Everything's wild and free. Never alone, cause this is our home. Magic can happen for real. Cornelius and Thumbelina. Thumbelina. His love gives her wings. Every day I'll take you higher and I'll never let you fall. Let me be your wings. Branch and Poppy. Trolls. Branch is unable to resist the royal troll's contagious optimism. I know it's not officially hug time yet, but... Now that I am queen, I decree that hug time is all the time. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mickey and Minnie Mouse, Steamboat Willie Disney's most iconic couple has been around since 1928. Technically, they made their debut together in the short film Steamboat Willie. While their wedding has never been canonically depicted, Disney confirmed that they were married in 1993. The cheerful mice have always had compatible personalities. While Mickey tends to be a little more reckless than Minnie, she's always there to support him or rein him in. Mickey, but you're three hours early. Oh, oh, you know, I'm just obsessed with you. Through every challenge and setback, they're always generous and loving towards one another. 
Nikki and Minnie have been side by side for nearly a century now. After looking back at their rich history, it feels like their enduring love will last forever. Oh, Mickey, I can't believe you gave up what means the most to you for me. <laughs> oh, Minnie, you're all the music I'll ever need. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.